Hi, my name is Shutik. I wear this bandana because I have a nickel-sized hole in my skull and I don't want to get any dust in it. Today we're going to add some color to our microphone collection, and instead of picking a vintage classic or a pristinely clean mic, we're going to look at this. The Octava MD200 Dynamic Mic. Manufactured in the Soviet Union during the 1970s, these microphones were originally used with reel-to-reels and tape recorders. MD200s have a really pleasant level of grit to them which makes them great for a layered lead vocal or for backing vocals. They also work nicely for spoken word. You can pick one of these up from eBay for around $30 shipped. They usually come from Eastern Europe so it'll take a month or two before it shows up at your door. This one here smells like mortar fire and borscht. The MD200 comes stock with a 3-pin DIN connector which can easily be replaced with a standard TS quarter inch plug so you can use the mic with standard studio inputs. There's people selling these on reverb with a quarter inch conversion for a pretty big markup. This is a very easy conversion to make so I'd stay away from these pre-modded versions to save daddy some scratch. As long as your drinking problem hasn't gotten out of control, you'll probably be able to handle this. In this video, we're going to learn more about the construction of the mic, take a look at the polar pattern, and learn how to convert the three pin DIN plug to quarter inch TS. Most importantly, we're going to listen to the mic in action. Let's try it out on some backing vocals. <laughs> The mic itself is pretty simple. It fits in this weird little plastic stand. Until recently I had been placing it in the stand upside down. It should look like this when it's properly assembled. I usually end up clamping it to a mic stand when I use it for recording. If we crack it open you can get a decent look at the capsule. The Soviet chemicals inside taste like the fruits of proletariat labor. This one happened to come with the original instruction manual which I think is pretty cool. Leave a post below if you think that sucks and I should burn it. The mic has a cardioid pattern and a nice bump in frequency response around 2.5k. You can find the complete manual, both translated and the original, on my Instagram. Link in the description. Let's try a bit of spoken word. I've got the MD200 plugged into my Cappy VP28 for maximum character. Dear Diary, I keep having that dream again. You know. The one where I'm in a bathtub filled with hard-boiled eggs. Upon further inspection, I realize that all of the eggs have been peeled. As soon as I pick one up, the room starts to swirl and suddenly I'm looking up at the twin towers. Except they aren't really towers. They're two giant popsicles. A giant lizard with red hair begins taking big bites out of the popsicles. And I wake up screaming. Converting the mic to quarter inch is really simple. This procedure will apply to a lot of different Octava mics with a 3-pin DIN manufactured during this time period, not just the MD200. This gives you quite a few options to experiment with. You can skip these first couple of steps if you don't care about preserving the DIN connector. First, insert a screwdriver into this hole here and gently pull the plastic connector cover back. This will expose the area where the wire is soldered to the DIN connector. Use your screwdriver to gently unclamp the connector from the wire. Now heat each pin while gently pulling the wire away. Cut the wires so you have a nice fresh piece to start with. Use a razor blade to remove some of the sheathing, about a quarter inch to do the trick. Be careful not to cut the sheathing on the wire beneath. Slip the connector cover and plastic sheath of your quarter inch connector onto the wire. Twist the ground wire and pull to the side. Now remove a bit of the sheathing from the remaining wire. Solder the ground wire to the sleeve of the quarter inch TS connector. Now solder the remaining wire to the tip of the connector. Screw on the connector and you're good to go. 
The Octava MD200 is a cheap way to add some variation to your mic arsenal. The conversion is quick and simple, and the mic itself provides unique tonal qualities. Are old Octavas the next new thing in recording? Will they blow you out of the water? Are you going to see a new Rhett Shull video where the thumbnail shows him longingly looking at the mic like he's gonna f it? Probably not, but this mic is a great way to add some color to your backing vocals or a bit of spoken word. This video is dedicated to Thayer Harris, who first brought an MD200 into my life over 10 years ago. I think about you a lot, bud.